everyone welcome to my very first youtube video my name is Wambu Mugai so basically today i'll be showing you how you can turn straight box braid hair you know the hair that you use for braiding and twisting into crochet hair or some hair extensions that you can use when going natural so among the things you'll need you'll need hair i'll be using the abuja short braid number two by the darling kenya company you also need some hair pins i'll be using this and you also need some straws so i'll be using these straws a point to note also the clear longer straws are fine they'll serve the same purpose so let's get straight to the process so the first thing i have done is i have tied a thread to my chair so and then the second thing you have to do is you have to subdivide your hair into preferable sections and a point to note is that a thinner Thinner sizes of hair give you tighter curls, well, uh, thicker sizes of hair or larger portions of hair give you looser curls, so it's in accordance to your preference. So, I have my hair size, I want, uh, I don't want thinner ones, I don't want thicker ones, just a medium size. So, and then I'll have to lock my hair to the thread, so this is how you're going to do it. So I'll basically lock uh, all portions of my hair, all, all, all subsections of my hair into the thread. So I've locked a quarter of the braids into the string and this is how it looks like. So the next step involves using straws. Uh, what you'll be doing is you'll pick one strand of hair and you'll be twisting it as you roll it around the straw. So this is what you'll do. So you'll need to secure the top with the pin. That is why we needed our pins. That is why we need our pins. So... You need to secure... You secure the top of the straw and the hair using a pin. This is just to ensure that the straw and the hair will twist the hair around the straw, it remains intact. So, and we go ahead. Don't worry, as you progress, it becomes much easier. Actually, I've, I've realized that you can use one straw for two strands of hair because the remaining straw is a bit long, so you can cut it into two and use it for two strands of hair. That is what I'll do. Then, when you reach at the bottom secure the last part of the hair pin like that and I'll cut my string so basically this is how it will look like after you've twisted it around the straw and I'm going to show you how to do two other strands before I do it in a quick manner I'm going to show you slowly how to do it yes so let's get back to it so I'm going to use uh, the other half of my straw. I'm going to secure it. So twist it around the straw. I love the fact that these straws are a bit stronger. So that's it. There you go. So I'm going to do this for all the other strands of here. 
So I'm going to do this for the other strands of hair very quickly. So this is how actually they look like after you finished twisting them. Yeah. Something like that. So we've now remained with only one step remaining and that step is only depending on hot and water. So I've dipped the hair into very hot water, ensure that your water is really hot to get the desired result. So for about five minutes or so. So I've dipped them in hot water. I have not had them, so I'm just going to unravel them and see whether we got the desired result. So I'm driving them is really easy. So after dipping them in hot water, I have dried them in, the, in, a, in a towel. So let's unravel them and see whether we've got the desired result. Immediately after unraveling them, this is the result. This is actually more than I expected. So, so as you can see, some are tighter than the others, some are looser, but they are both beautiful in a way, in their own way. So I'm just going and try I'm just going to try and separate them further and see whether they whether they can give us uh, that fuller that fuller look. This is how they look. So you can actually crochet them like this and then separate them further. So here's actually the final result. How beautiful is this? It's really pretty. So you can actually crochet this braid. Yeah. You see these knots, these loopholes, these loops where the braid is tied to the string, to the thread is where you you can actually crochet the braid on on your head, on your hair, and you can 
make this into an acute extension that you can draw it during your natural hair period whenever you want to yes that's it for today's video if you liked it give me a thumbs up if you tried it let me know the outcome in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe and share till next time ciao